Now it's time for that time when we talk to our special guest. Tonight our special guest is well-known and well-liked broadcaster Mark Leishman. From Top Town to Tux Wonder Dog, Mark has done it all. Today, Mark is a morning DJ at Magic, the new radio network that specialises in baby boomer music right throughout New Zealand. Mark Leishman, Sarah, welcome to, to The Beat Goes On. Now, I know you went everywhere trying to find a shirt just like mine, <laughs> and you failed. It's just a bit darker, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, I had to try and keep up with the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, sartorial elegance, elegance that you that you have, you're famous for. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but Mark Leishman, what an honour, what an oh. honour. One of the greatest broadcasters in New Zealand's history. And uh, wow. uh, uh, we're talking Top Town, we're talking Tux, Wonder Dog. Oh, yeah. what a beauty. And the Young Farmers Contest, yeah. of course, all those things. Yeah. But we're going to go right back to the beginning. Yeah. Because uh, a little bird told me it was Timaru. Uh, Timaru it is, yeah. yes. Yeah, now, yeah. what happened? What day did you come into the world? Um, I came in the world on the 25th of May. Um, it was in a great, great era when Elvis Presley was just coming on the scene, 1956. What, 1956? Recording great songs in the Sun Record Studios, and I came into the world uh, way back then. So. You're a classic baby boomer, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I yeah, am a baby right boomer. Yeah. 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 And wow. uh, I had my old, older brother, of course, was Philip, and yeah. uh, another brother, David, is the oldest, and then a sister who's just ahead me so I was the not only a baby boomer but I was the baby of the family yeah. and funny how even to this day I've reached 61 and I still feel like the baby yeah. of the family you know um, yeah. let's just stop and mention and give great tribute to Philip yeah. your brother Philip I, I used to work with him Indeed. and um, yes and uh, suddenly he was wasn't with us anymore no. it's amazing how oh. it happens isn't it yes. and it's amazing to think you know that's it's coming up five years next February yeah. since he's left us and uh, he's left a, a huge uh, gap in the family yeah but the 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 nice news is his family are doing extremely well. Mm. They're all happy and they're doing great things in their in their work lives yeah. and things. Really. But funny enough, Mark, I used to work with Philip, but I never got to meet you until yes. today. So, how did that happen? Oh goodness, knows. <laughs> I don't know. Because I used to love the rumor. Oh, I used to, yeah, holy thank you morning. very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> L'amore long fine. I mean, I play them now on Magic yes. regularly. So, you know. so um, I had a father who was passionate about listening to the radio and of course wow. in, the, in the early mm. 60s the TV wasn't as prominent the radio, the radio was, was got big, your entertainment yeah. yeah and I had a mother who was uh, very um, much set on giving us all uh, elocution lessons wow. speech and drama so she wanted us to mm. and I think uh, funny I think it works by, uh, two ways you sort of uh, as a kid when you're learning elocution and your mates know mm. that you're learning speech you know, you almost overcompensate in the opposite direction yeah. when you come out, so you speak as rough as hell. <laughs> and you know when to turn it on when you have to, you know. But um, So that's where it started. We were involved in drama. And so you learned to say Wellington. Wellington, yes, Instead indeed. of Wellington. Yeah, that's right, the old dark L. Um, yeah. And, yeah, and, and uh, Philip, of course, was a huge influence because he had this all the way through a passion for radio, and, and I, which I grew, grew with me as well, and we just loved to do it. Mm. We used to even play... To get, he's five years older than me, but mm. uh, we were still, he'd use me as the, the lackey and he'd set up tape recorders and record players and we'd have a radio station and, yeah. and he would do all the fun bits and then I'd get to read it, one <laughs> ad or one weather forecast or something like that. You know. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it started, it, it, mm. it lit the spark really. And, you know, radio and, and television then, of course, became such a huge part of my life. It's all I know now, which yes, is... Yes, exactly. And I've been damn lucky, you know. When you mention some of those shows, do yes, you think I've exactly. been involved in... And I've only of, mentioned a few. I've yeah, just there's a few. Been a, there's a few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, you know, it's 40 odd years and mm. I've, I've, I've been on TV virtually every year for, well, in fact, for mm. that, that period. So it's, it's, it's great. It's a great feeling. Now, today, um, your observations on the broadcasting industry in New Zealand. Um, it's, uh, everyone's been hammered by the internet, of yeah. course, radio stations, wow. newspapers, television. Well, the good thing in, in, in one sense is, uh, is in radio, of course, is radio is actually doing pretty well. Yes, it is, know. isn't it? Um, yeah, and it's something enough. about the fact, you know, when you're driving along yeah. in the car, it's kind of nice to have that company, that yeah. voice, familiar voice and in your And that's what's ear. going to keep radio alive. Well, it is, it? you yeah. know, and just company around the house. Yeah. And it's okay, you know, you can listen to your, your music on Spotify or whatever you do these days on your computer. But there's something about having uh, someone else there, keeping your company, Playing you know, <laughs> and, and talking away. Yeah. And, if, and obviously you've got to like them, otherwise you wouldn't yeah. listen. So, you know, it's, it's a lovely relationship yeah. there. TV, well, man, oh, man, it's changing so yeah. dramatically, you know. I mean, but, you think of TV NZ and uh, TV3 and how they, you know, they, they really have to struggle to get mm. that, keep that audience because all the kids are now watching the laptops. Oh, 
must be a nightmare for them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Uh, but I always say to them, look, um, when television came in, everybody said, radio's finished. Yes. But you always find another... That's right. You know, yeah, exactly. Uh, so the breakfast show and the drive became the big things for radio. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. remember, uh, Mark, we used to... Um, uh, sit around the radio, mum and dad, and with the fire going, and life with Dexter. Yes, right. You know, and the, in the bag. Can and, I say? And radio was huge. Radio yeah. was huge. Life with Dexter, ironically. That, yeah. I don't know if you remember Wonder Dogs, Tux Wonder Dogs. We had yeah. a dog. My dog was called Dexter, <laughs> and it was named after that show. Wow. It was named after Life yeah. with Dexter. Yeah, because I. I look, I can't remember much about it, but yeah. uh, I always remember Life with Dexter was the yeah, yeah. big thing. You and know? Dexter was a bit of, a, bit yeah, of an yeah. idiot, really, basically. Yeah. He kept a bumbler. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to what you're doing today, Mark. Mm. You are happily ensconced in a wonderful radio station which goes all over New Zealand, yeah. and it's called Magic. And Magic. it's a boomer station. It plays music for us boomers. Yeah, well, it is. You feel it, it, totally <clears throat> at home, do you? Totally at home. Um, mm. My oldest brother, David, um, he was very much into the, the Beatles oh, and the Beach yeah. Boys and all the, you know, those. Mm. So he had all the albums. So I used to play these religiously, you know. And um, so that, that era of music mm. from the 50s through to the 70s particularly, um, you know, it's just huge. There's so many wonderful artists. It was a, cha a sea change in terms of music when you think of... In the 50s, you know, the old Perry Como and Dean Martin and mm. Frankie Sinatra, and then suddenly Elvis comes along and rocks the joint, and then you've got the Beatles with their long hair, and they're playing their own instruments, and they're writing their own songs. I mean, extraordinary stuff. And then, you know, within a few years, they were doing Sgt. Peppers, and there was yeah. the Moody Blues and all the glam rockers and everything like that. It was fantastic. So it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful era. And I think now, my, my own children, I've got to three kids, the oldest is 24, um, and and their music, whenever we have a party, the yeah. music that they go to is, is your Sweet Carolines from Neil yeah. Diamond and the songs that they seem to know all the words yeah. to as well. So yeah. that song, that, that music just keeps coming back. And so that's what I, I love about magic. I mean, every morning I get up early, 4.30, and go into work. But um, it's, it's, every song's a hit song, it's a pop song, you know, yeah. and it's just good fun, great fun. Um, when a party's dying, bring out Sweet Caroline. That's right, because <laughs> everyone knows the words. Absolutely. So for our viewers who mm. want to listen to magic, it's yep. right throughout New Zealand. Yeah, tell, it tell is. Tell us the different um, Oh, well, there's a, I don't know. It, it goes from, from Auckland um, through to Invercargill, basically. Mm. And um, there are a few areas, because we're only two years old, and I was, mm. I was actually working for the Breeze uh, for, for 10 years, and they came to me and they said, you know, your hair's gone white. Um, you're probably getting <laughs> what a, a terrible thing to say. <laughs> you're probably getting a bit old for, for your audience. So yeah. we're all... Uh, 35 to 50 year old women yeah. <laughs> so um, we think uh, we might have to move on in a couple of years but I tell you what we've got an idea and the idea is that we'll start a radio station so I like to think they started it just mm. for me yeah. um, and called it magic and uh, yeah, it, the, it's, it's all over the country it's on FM virtually everywhere we, we're an AM in Auckland and Christchurch and, uh, and Wellington um, but it's also available on Rover, which is R O V A, which is the the app that you get on your phone, oh, okay. so you can listen to beautiful, clear. Now the, these are the same people that brought us TV three. Media exactly, Works. Media Works. Yeah. So is, yeah. that means it's got a good backing behind it. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. one day yeah. Auckland will go FM. Or uh, well, well, that's the the, got the, the plan. plan. That's the yeah. hope, you know, because yeah, yeah. then we can compete on a level playing field yeah. with the other stations, you know. But um, we've got a very loyal audience. We do really. We're number one in Hawkes Bay. And we're pretty well number one in Rotorua too for a music station. So you know, we'll those take that. Ha those Hawks Bay people are pretty intelligent, aren't discerning, they? Discerning, discerning yeah, listeners. Discerning. <laughs> <laughs> Great compliment to uh, Baby Boomer Music, of course, Mark. Was that um, um, that ra uh, Media Works were quite uh, astounded at the success of Coast, mm -hmm. which was the other lot that was right that's right yes, yes. and so they the greatest form of um flattery is imitation isn't well it? that's so, right yeah, yeah yeah well we we like to think we're a bit yeah. different we we don't uh, delve into any other yeah. uh decades apart from those 50s 60s yeah. 70s so we like to think we're the purists <laughs> but it is so a great thing to know that for us baby boomers we're, yeah. we're in a sea of uh, young people's radio there's two great stations that um, are playing music that's for us. right i do a request uh, segment every every day between nine and ten and it's extraordinary that the songs mm. that people come up with that they yeah. want to hear you know your macarthur's park and uh, oh, nice covered that. windows yeah. and things like yeah. that um and it's really really fun to hear mm. what the and and they're very you know they're a very loyal bunch of listeners mm. really they just they, they've found uh, found us magic 
and they just really, you know, each day they just come back and enjoy it. And they have it on all day, and it's fantastic. And you get stories of driving uh, motorhomes around the country or in the yeah. garden or wherever, you know, yeah. they've all got the radio on, which is the way mm. our generation is. You always have the radio. Do you have the wee transistor? I've got the, still got the little Panasonic transistor. The little tinny transistor, <laughs> they call it, yeah. yeah. Now, Mark, um, you've had a great... Um, you could say you've been very blessed, haven't you? I have, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, you know, life. I mean, to well, last... Why, why were you so lucky, Mark? Oh, what, what do you think it was? Golly, that's a, <laughs> hard, that's a real <laughs> tough one. one second. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think... Um, yeah. I think... I hope, good... I hope to think that yeah. um, I'm real, you know? Yeah, yeah. You that are. what you see is what you get, you know? Yes, that exactly. I, I don't really deviate too much from... Um, I don't, you know, there's nothing, no, nothing put on, so well, who, who hopefully that was. Who gave you that wonderful uh, attribute? Well, uh, you know, I think my, my gave mother you? gave me a, um, a, a bit of steel, but I, I think probably my dad, uh, he was pretty relaxed sort of dude mm. and very amiable character. And was always used to give us the greatest joy when we went back to Timaru and we'd go and meet people and they'd say, oh, we love your dad, he's such a lovely chap, mm. you know, and all this sort of stuff. And, I, you know, I don't know where, where it comes from, but I think, you know, lucky that the, the, the mix of genes worked for me. Yeah. Let's uh, hope they continue to. But it, it, it has been a great ride, hasn't oh, it? Oh, it has, too? yeah. Wonderful. And, I, you know, today, even now, I'm working on a station not dissimilar to, to Face TV yeah. on Country TV, which yeah. is... The farming um, uh, on, focus on Sky, on Sky, yeah. on Sky 81, um, and that's that. Yeah. Uh, I do the news there, and uh, that keeps them in touch with, well, our biggest industry, the backbone of the nation. So it's quite a nice mix of the music at one level, and, and then the farming side yeah. of things at the other. Yeah. And worst of all, life let you keep that lovely head of hair. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, I saw a photo of you out in the in the, in the office there with, with the beautiful, there. from the rumour days. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it happened. Well, I'll thank my mother for that, actually, because yeah. she had very good, strong hair. Was head. Dad bald? Or no, no, he, had, he, he, he had kept his hair, hair all the way and through. Mum had good hair. Yeah, very good. She was very, yeah. very thick hair. You know? So, uh, philosophically, yeah. uh, the journey... Um, What's it all for? What's the journey all for? What do you think it's, it's all been about? Oh, You're 61 now, Mark. Yeah. Can you give us any insight into um, what this wonderful journey's all been about? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. I get the most pleasure out of my family, really. Mm. And, and I, um, and I, and I get, did out of my, my mm. family. You know how as you, as you go through the generations, yeah. you know, you move on from your own brothers yeah. and sisters and yes, parents exactly. as they as they leave to you. Build a new one you build yeah. a new family and you build mm. new pockets and that's how it all, and um, I think that's the greatest thing. I think yeah. friendship's a wonderful thing and family, mm. uh, I get the most pleasure of anything from yeah. seeing my kids doing stuff and, yeah. and, and enjoying it. And, and I really, really like the fact that they love coming home. They're, you know, a couple of them, um, Molly and, and Patty, my oldest, they're in Wellington studying and, and then I've got a 14 year old still at home. But they love being at home mm. and bringing their mates around, and it's just, I just love that. That's probably uh, I think I think it's leaving the world uh, 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 hopefully a better place than you came into it. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. Now, Mark, uh, you, the reason you're on the show today, of course, is that um, just last week, um, Sunday night, um, I saw you receive a wonderful accolade from yeah. the Variety Artists Club of New Zealand. Yeah. Was that totally a surprise? Or? Well, it was yeah. totally, well they, they warned me. They said, oh, hey, um, by any chance you're coming to the Variety Artists yeah. uh, Club dinner. Yeah. Um, you the know, Benny Awards. Yeah. The Benny Awards. And, and I said, well, I'd love to, yeah. So... Uh, yeah. I, Joe, my wife, and I went along, and it was it was a it was a and huge. You're sitting thrill. there in the next minute. This yeah, it was a great scroll thrill. was given a to you. A scroll, yeah, just for you know for yeah. services to broadcasting. Well, you yeah. know, it hasn't been hard really. It's a hell of a good. <laughs> it's a good industry to be in. You know, it I is, mean, it's it? pretty tough, and it can be a bit of a roller coaster ride at times mm. when things go wrong, or you lose jobs, or you lose uh, productions. You know, in a TV sense. But um, all in all, when you look back, boy, oh boy, it, it's yeah. been a good ride. <laughs> And now, so, Mark, yeah. Mark, before you go, mm. um, you just told me a fascinating little piece of information before we started. And, yes. Um, that we Mark, have one thing in common. That we have one thing well, in common. Well, more than one thing yeah. in common. Yeah. And your mother yes. christened you yeah. Jared Mark Leishman. That is right. And it was never used, the Jared part. No, was never no. Used. Well, it is used. It's used in uh, yeah. the only bugbear I have yeah. <laughs> is that whenever I have to, uh, whenever I fly, I've yeah. got to put Jared on my ticket. Really? So you know, for the passport, you've got yeah. to put your passport name on the on the on the ticket. So um, I mean, it's not a bugbear, but people know me as Mark. But officially, I'm Jared. Jared. Yeah. yeah. God knows why she changed. Why Mark took over. Yeah. Um, but funnily enough, uh, her name was Mary Nolene Leishman, and her name everyone knew her as Nolene. So 
Yeah. There was a second name again, so I don't know. Go figure <laughs> that one. It's a bit Irish, isn't it? <laughs> oh, so, on that point, the yeah. ancestry of the Leishman family is Irish? A bit of both, actually. Yeah. Yeah, my dad's side were more Scots, um, and uh, my mum's were definitely Irish, so uh, the Ryans. Um, yeah. And Lenanes, um, so yeah, um, but dad's for dad. The, the name Leishman came from from Scotland. Um, my father's uh, mother uh, was uh, a bit of an identity in, uh, in uh, South Canterbury. She had the Burke's Pass Hotel for thirty five years, which is stories. no longer there. Yeah. Right in the middle of the Mackenzie yeah. country, you know, uh, often cut off with snow drifts and all sorts. You know, oh, a few so, stories from a few that, yarns. Yeah, 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 good, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, Mark, look, wonderful to see you. And uh, as I say, I saw you the other night and I thought, gosh, I'd love to have you on the Big Coast. Oh, that's It'd very be kind. Wonderful if you could come in. Yeah. And uh, I'll tell our viewers that. Your new radio station, magic. shun every other station, is <laughs> magic right magic. throughout the country. Check it out at magic.co.nz. Magic.co.nz. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you so much for inviting me.